Deputy Prosecutor Ashley Tanaka told a state judge a Marine sergeant was fatally stabbed in Waikiki, quote, after a pack of juveniles mobbed him and his friends, end quote. An Oahu grand jury returned an indictment charging one of the juveniles with murder. Whether it's because people are here on vacation or because they think this is some kind of paradise, some visitors or tourists are not as careful when they are here as they would be back home. For example, at Shark's Cove on the north shore of Oahu, people have gone for a swim, leaving their keys on the beach. They return to find their keys gone and their car stolen along with belongings they believed they securely locked in their car. This is a risk at other beaches too. Shane Enright, Honolulu Ocean Safety and EMS spokeswoman said, quote, it used to be Visitors would go to popular beaches. They now look for the secluded beaches. Social media has played a big role leading the visitors to these remote locations, end quote. It's not just beaches. Renegade travel books are directing people to hazardous hiking trails and remote, dangerous locations with the promise of extraordinary beauty or experience. Rescue agencies have responded to calls from ocean, land, and mountain involving people lost, stuck in precarious situations, injured, or dead. Hawaii attracts people looking for adventure and excitement, but there is a difference between adventure and real danger. For example, tourists and visitors may find Chinatown exciting or mysterious with a variety of exotic enticing shops. A daytime shopping tour in Chinatown can be a fun tourist experience, but there are places in Chinatown I would not want to be in at night. Honolulu Star Advertiser reported police are asking for the public's help locating a man wanted for a violent purse snatching. Police released a grainy video of the man approaching an 82-year-old woman from behind on River Street near Chinatown Cultural Plaza around 3.45 a.m. Police said the man violently swung the victim who fell onto her head. She was hospitalized and is still recovering. According to the Star Advertiser, a longtime sports broadcaster was on life support at Queen's Medical Center after he was found during the early morning hours unresponsive with a head injury in Chinatown. After reviewing footage from surveillance video from a nearby business, police determined he had been assaulted. A 58-year-old homeless man was arrested for the alleged attack. Less than a week after the attack, another man was stabbed there near Mauna Kea Liquor and Grocery. The victim sustained a stab wound to his lower torso and was transported in serious condition to a hospital. Some community members and merchants say the area is known to be unsafe and many residents stay away at night. Less than a year earlier, a man was gunned down while sitting outside the liquor store. Tisea E. Puapuaga allegedly shot the man multiple times with a handgun before fleeing. An Oahu grand jury indicted Puapuaga for second-degree murder. He remains at large. Honolulu Police Department Criminal Investigations Division Acting Major Walter Ozeki said the assault on the sportscaster was an isolated incident and there's nothing to suggest there is a crime wave in the area. Okay, but if you're a tourist or a visitor, do what most local people would do. They stay away from questionable, risky places, including in Chinatown, at night.